New Holland Bro grape harvesters are building in Coex, France. On the Coex factory production process of one grape harvester unit takes 20 to 30 days. To produce a grape harvester starts from laser cut the steel plates. The process of and laser cutting are starting from the truck unloading to the cutting machine supplying. The operator follow up the machine, checking the cutting quality. There have three laser cutting machines, one is 1500 watts, one is 3000 watts and the third one is 4000 watts. Each laser cutting machine has its own thickness specialty. Is taken first the metal sheet from the automatized storehouse. And then just as laid the metal sheet to workplace. Then the laser cutting machine makes a cut with a program pattern. The Department of Bending and Stamping transformed 2,500 tons of steel and stainless steel per year. This department is equipped with around 20 machines tools and mixed 12 metalworking trades. All different steps here are complementary. Taken the steel sheet from 1 to 12 mm thickness. The bending allows to create a part with a punch and a matrix. The stamping creates the part by hitting. The arching shapes the pipes. The rolling allows to create rounded parts on mechanical parts. This diversity of method of working allow to manufacture 16,000 products. There are producing different size of parts, from 1 to 70 kilos. Depending on their position on the machine, they have different size. The biggest are the parts to create hoppers. The manufactured parts are then sent to welding. The welding workshop is at the middle of the manufacturing process. The welding workshop are divided in two parts, the small welding and the big welding. In the welding shop are 70 welders who are working in three shifts. The welding is going on our day and nights. Olive conveyors are welded here and also welding lots of stainless steel parts. From small to big parts. Here, welding is done with a small weld bead. Also in welding workshop area have a huge variety of welding assembly. Small parts and other bigger parts heavier are welding by robots. Here have five welding robots which are also working in shift. They are welding around 2.2 kilometers of welding per machine. All the welded parts are controlled by each welder. The manufactured parts are then sent to the painting department. In paint shop working 20 people, including 7 painters. There are two facilities, Cataphoresis Line and Tetone Facility. There is 60% of the parts painted on the Cataphoresis Facility and 40% on the Tetone Facility. All small details are processed on the Cataphoresis Line. It is a surface treatment done by soaking in baths. For big parts, here have the Triton Facility, which is a surface treatment done by spraying. There are painting on this facility the big parts for the assembly lines. In Paint Workshop are painting an average 2,500 parts per day. It represents around 17,000 liters of paint per year. New Holland Harvesters has two main colors are blue and gray. Therefore, at the Coex factory are painting 60% in blue and 40% in gray. When the parts are painted, they are brought them to storage facility. The assembly line is divided into three areas with two assembly lines. One assembly line are for the harvester's frame and one for the harvesting head. On the harvester's assembly line, first workstation. Positions the harvester frame which come from the painting facility. Second workstation, adding the engine assembly which is pre-assembly on the side of the line. Third workstation, adding the hydrostatic part of the harvester. Fourth workstation, finish the hydraulic part with the lifting and adding the cap. Fifth workstation, positioning all the electrical harness on the harvester. About second workstation, harvesting headline. At first, positions the main frame of the harvesting head, coming from the painting. 
second workstation, adding the conveyors and the Noria command. Third workstation, adding under the harvesting head main frame, the shaking frame. The shaking frame is pre-assembly on the side of the line. Fourth workstation, we add to the shaking frame and main harvesting head frame, the bottom of the Noria. Fifth and sixth workstations, adding all the stainless steel components on the harvesting head. They are necessary to have a perfectly sealed Noria. Seventh workstation, adding the Noria chains. Eighth and last workstation, adding all the Kenva to close the harvesting head when the tractor and the harvesting head are finished. Here have a workstation dedicated to the harvesting head hitching on the tractor. Then adding the two hoppers on each side. The assembly phase is finished. Then delivery the machine to the next department. Quality control of finishing. The finishing department. After two assembly lines, which supply a tractor with its harvesting head, the first preparation and inspection of the machine continues. Every machine, without exception, goes through a rigorous dynamic quality control protocol on a dedicated test track. It is the quality test on static and riding on the track test. After the track test, the machine come back and workers fix possible default. Then they again do the final quality check. After their workers finally add carters and decals. <laughs>